All right, intermediate algebra students, uh, this video is, <coughs> excuse me, two variable inequalities from their graphs. Um, this one is way easier than you're probably going to think about. The only thing we have to think about is which inequality to use and does it get an equal sign or not. So, in this one, notice that it has a solid uh, dark blue line right there. Because it's a solid dark blue line, it gets an equal sign. It's as easy as that. Because this is shaded below the line, if you draw a line straight up or straight down, you'll notice that it's shaded below. That means that it's less than. So from there, all you have to do is come up with the y equals mx plus b. So we're just putting all of these in y equals mx plus b format, and it's quite simple. You should know <clears throat> the y-intercept right here is negative 1. You should know that the slope is up 1 over 1. So 1 over 1 would equal just 1. So our inequality would read y is less than or equal to, less than because it's shaded below, equal to because it's a solid line, 1x, and we don't need the 1 in front of the x because x times 1 is just x. So y is less than or equal to 1x minus 1, written just like that. Pretty simple. Let's do one more. So we've got this one right here. Um, again, we just need the y equals mx plus b. Um, this one, you'll notice, is shaded below the line again. So it's going to be another less than. And because it's a dashed line this time, there will not be an equal sign this time. So no equal sign this time. This You'll notice over here, this one had an equal sign. So when we do this, we know that the y-intercept is positive 3. We know that the slope is up 1 over 4. So it's simply y less than 1 over 4x plus 3. It is just that simple, guys. Um, I'm happy to uh, verify each and every one, but you should blow through this one pretty quick. Have a great day. Bye-bye.